welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a 113, it's a Chinese tier 10 heavy tank, and it's located on the north spawn of El Haluf under the command of Jiffy. Now, it's a bit of an odd dog, this one, uh, because it's got parts from medium tanks when they made it, and it never actually got put into production because it was a cancelled project. But um, yes, it's got a 122mm gun, 440 alpha, and it's decently fast and uh, quite good actually in terms of uh, general melee with the enemy. Now you've normally seen Jiffy before in battles alongside Oppenheimer. They often platoon together and so uh, he, this time around he's out on his own. Okay, well, we're off to the northwest corner. This is an encounter game, which is unusual because we don't normally see that many encounters, mostly standard battles. And it looks like he's going to really spam the gold because he's got plenty of heat ammo loaded, but you do need heat if you're going to have a big tussle with the enemy. Redo time just under 8 seconds, 7.91. Okay, we've got some enemies already here. Puts one round into a 430. Now remember, it's 440 alpha, so that was a low roll. Puts one into the Wizzy 132. Oh, somebody went up, bang. And it was actually our M41 Walker Bulldog. Took a round from the T44 as well. And he's jockeying for position. He can't really use this position effectively because that 430 could put a plate around into his lower plate if he's not careful. Somebody's come up. Oh, lovely one into the ISU 152. It's a high roll. In fact, that's the arm left him potentially on a one shot. Okay, T34. Nope, that one don't go through. T44. Not loaded by the time he came up, but we managed to take a round into the tracks. Uh, 430 is still there. Got a round into the T34 this time. 430 is just sitting in the dip, daring us to move forward. There's the ICU. Oh, what a shot! Snapshot on him. Took him out of the game, but we took another round from the T44 into the tracks, and this time round it did track us, so he burned our repair kit. Put one back into the T44. And the Lerva's going after that 430. We try to get around on the T44 again, and it looks like our T110E3 is also going down to get that uh, 430. We put one round into the uh, T44. T34's come up again, but pulled back before we can shoot. They killed the 430. Okay, now, Jiffy's going around. I think he's gonna try and catch them in the crossfire. Shoot from a different direction. And it looks like the enemy's pulling back. They realize what's going on here. Jiffy's got them in a bit of a bind here because they don't want to get shot aside as they're trying to fight off the attacks that are in front of them. And that T-34 is trying to hold the pass, so to speak. And that's pretty bad for him because now we can use the ISU 152 wreck as a shield. One through the drive wheel. Yep, holds him in place. He's now a one shot. Just getting for the reload. Go for the kill shot. Oh, and he's killed before we can shoot. Kill goes to the uh, T-54 E1. Now, there's some enemy just around the corner. A bit uncertain who's there. Oh, it's a Yegaru. Okay. Now, he's loaded heat, so he's used up all his standard ammo. Puts one into the lower plate of the E100. Pulls back. E100's coming around. He wants a piece. And he does put one into our tracks, but we put one into his front plate. He's now one shot for, well, he's not one shot for us. No, he's a two shot. Jaegeru. One into the front plate of him, for, or front of his turret. It's not the front of his plate. Oh, and he's gone down. Must have shot him in the side of the uh, casement. Puts one into the E100. Now he's a one shot. Now, can we get around into that T44? He's being a pain again. 
kills the E100. Now, go for the T44. Oh, there's a bunch of them around here. Oh, wow, he's just got a ram kill on a T-34 too. And now going after the T-44, he used the other T-44 as a sandwich to take him out. And he kills the T-44. Wow, so two tanks in quick succession there. He's got three kills now, Jippy. I don't think he suffered that much in the way of damage. It was one round through the uh, next to the gun mantlet. And a couple of went in lower. Right, we're looking for a bat chat, 25 ton, a Yank Tiger, a Tortoise, a Wizzy 132, and an SU 130PM. And there's the Yank Tiger just over in the distance. Where are the others? There's the Tortoise. And he's facing the other way. And we're moving in. And R430U's also going after him. Can't get a shot there, but put one into the other side. Oh, look at the marks. You can see where the heat rounds have hit him. One into his posterior, Klaus Kellerman style. And now SU 130PM. And we get one into him. And he's being shot in the rear at the same time as we're shooting him in the front. And he's gone. And that's the end of the game. Wow. 8.9k. Very good. Very aggressive play style. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tank of a Jiffy in the 113. He's got a fire for effect, a fighter, a master gunner, a duelist, a hand of God, and a bruiser out of the minor medals. Just about every minor medal except the spotter, I think, out of that one. And he did pick up a couple of epic medals. He got the high caliber for dealing the most damage in that game and a confederate because he hit more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. And he also got a win eight, 13,781, which is a really high scoring game. Very high score indeed. Let's have a look at the uh, team scores. Well, he's got top on damage, unsurprisingly, 8,921 hit points. It was more than double the next highest scorer, which was an object 430U, which just goes to show how much Diffie, Jiffy won that battle. Basically, he carried that battle for his team. Uh, 3,534 for the object 430U and 2,835 for the t 110 e when it came to kills, he's got the top again. He got four kills. The next high score at the three got three kills. And there's a bunch of tanks with two kills. And he's got the top again on the base XP. So he's got the top in all three columns. 1,287 base experience points. He really earned that ace tanker. 936 for the E3 and 880 for the 430U. He fired 22 rounds, got 21 direct hits and 21 penetrations. That 122mm gun is actually very effective. It's a bit of a step down from the 13cm gun you find on the other tier 10 uh, Chinese tanks. But it seems to do the job. Um, he got damage of 8,921 hit points and all of it was at close range. He received 8 hits from the enemy, 3 penetrations, 5 non-penetrations. Those are the ones that went into the tracks. And he blocked damage of 1,770 hit points. He spotted two enemy vehicles, damaged 11 of the enemy, killed four of them, and did damage assistance of 441 hit points. On a premium account, he earned 112,728 credits. And he did take some damage from one of his teammates during that battle as well. For 5,930 hit points, he must have taken a big, heavy round for at least 400 hit points, at least uh, one of the penetrations that hit him. Um, so his total came to 118,658, but after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, and remember, he did spam that uh, heat ammo he needed to, because he was facing Jaegerus and E100s, and the only way he was going to bring them down was with heat ammo, and he did use up all his AP rounds straight away before he tucked into his uh, dessert, and that left him with a small loss of 6,696 credits for the battle. But it was worth it to get the ace tanker. And he also picked up four bonds for the awards at tier 10. He picked up 1,930 XP, 
got 966 for completing the mission and events, took away 2,896 experience points altogether. So a fantastic battle there by GFE. Um, good example of, um, it must be uh, how Oppenheimer's training is rubbing off on Jeffy, or how um, Jiffy's games with Oppenheimer is improving Jiffy's game to a, a great extent, because uh, this is a really, really good um, display of aggression and how to use the 113 effectively in a battle. Uh, I was very pleased with that one. So, if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel, and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.